Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the channel. Try to get some lights on. I don't know how long this will last. Right now, I am just um, getting some jewelry prepared for sale before I take some pictures. Hubble Bubble, you gonna come sit with me? No? We have some beautiful jewelry to sort through and get listed. I um, thought I'd film some of it. I feel like it's been a long time, so I feel like, hey, why not show some of the stuff on camera? Because I feel like I'm seeing it for the first time all over again. And I'm just going to basically... Uh, Price some stuff and see. This is really pretty. It's a. I don't think it's a sterling necklace. Either way, though, it's still pretty cute. And then I cleaned these rings up earlier, so let's have a look at these guys. I'm going to be listing this one right away. This is a fashion ring. These are cubic zirconia. And the ring is not signed. This is a piece of my desk on my finger from when I put my nails on right here. That's that piece. Isn't that crazy? Like you buy furniture and furniture these days is literally like so easy to damage and it makes me sad because you spend a lot of money all for what you know just to have it ruined yep I really hope that my camera is going this direction I want it to anyways let's have a look at some of these rings so there's that one and then um it almost looks like it's got rose gold. Sorry, I'm just trying to see. I don't know if I like this light. I'm going to turn it off. I, I kind of like the natural light better. This ring is a size... I want to say six. And that's tight. So it's a size six for sure. Let me see if I can get a different kind of light going over here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am trying over here. And then we have this beautiful one. This one, I believe, is sterling silver and black onyx stone of some sort. Maybe, it, it, for why I say onyx is just based on the inside right here. But I could be wrong. And this one is a size... Size 8. 7, barely an 8. Not quite an 8. This one's sterling gold. I'm positive. This one I'm unsure of. It's not marked. Cubic zirconia, I would say. And then... Bear, probably six and a half. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And we got this beautiful one. So this one here, um, I guess I should talk about prices. I don't know how to price them. Sterling rings, I usually list them for $60. And then I never, ever list them for that price. Like, I list them for that price, but that just gives me room to make offers. And, like, I usually take the first offer anybody ever gives me within reason. Um, so yeah, so this one here I would probably list for 50 to 60 and then I don't know about this one. I don't 
it's hard to tell if it's sterling or not. Um, probably 40 and then I usually end up selling them for 20. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, for sure. And then these types of rings I usually list for 40. This is a beautiful one, but they're showing some, showing signs of wear. And that's a size six. Beautiful. I got kids hollering in the background. This guy is a size eight. And I'm not sure what the stone is. And I don't think it's sterling also. I don't see any signs of wear on this one though, I must say. And it's not signed. I couldn't see a signature. But I really like that one. Very nice. Okay, so these guys are pretty much ready to go. Oh, I got a little bump. I've been really wanting to start making jewelry again, and I've been watching a lot of uh, jewelry making videos. I'm really wanting to start that again, so I might uh, I might start doing that right away. This is one of the uh, earrings that I made. Oh, that's where that bead came from. I made this little guy. I did, I did. Okay, so now we have this necklace. I'm not sure what I would even go about listing this one for. It is fashion. But it's still beautiful, and I just love that. And then we got another shiny fashion necklace here. I don't believe there's any stones missing. Absolutely cute. Has an adjustable class. Oh, it's Avon. For sure, Avon. I got a bunch of these little odd earrings here. I don't know what I'm doing with those. Now these are flippin' stinkin' adorable. I just found these in, I don't know what jewelry lot they're from, but I am going to list them because um, I don't know if they're vintage or not. I don't think they are, maybe 80s, possibly. They are for pierced ears. The stone is absolutely perfect, like, how stinking beautiful are they? Let me bring it closer. And then I was going to marry. <laughs> then I will. So I was going to put those earrings together with this bracelet. Now you see how the stones are a different color. I wonder if that makes if that's a shine of the age. Or is it just fashion and it's tarnished? I think I'm going to put them together in a lot with these guys. And then from there, um, I don't know, maybe we'll get the sale. Because people do love the rhinestones. I, I have a huge rhinestone collection. Huge. I'm literally just going through this jar that I put together, I guess, when I was moving. And then I found this note. I wanted to test this one. But I'm always nervous with the diamond tester. And then I wanted to try to clean it with some... I'm going to try it with the jewelry cleaner, actually. I just have this little jewelry cleaner. Sometimes I'd use it. And then I'll test it out. I have this beautiful hair clip that I want to list as well I haven't seen anybody um, use one of these for a while they're so 1990 
And then here is a sterling silver necklace. I call it the bobble necklace. Um, it is, it has all these beautiful, um, I don't know what you call this, agate? Is it agate? Let me get a neck. Let me get a neck. Oh, my flowers. Don't want to forget my flowers, guys. Don't want to forget my flowers. Can you see my pretty flowers? Flowers. <laughs> don't mess up. So this one necklace, I'm pretty positive, is signed. It is sterling. You can tell when something is sterling. I know I can. <clears throat> I'm always so stuffed up. Like, every time I go to film, it's like, nope, you can't breathe. We're going to put an end to that. So you sound ridiculous all while you film. So here's my problem man, with this <clears throat> necklace is I think I'm missing a bobble right here. There's a bobble missing. But then, oh, you can't even see me. Here I am talking about this bobble, and you guys can't even see it. Let's move this back. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So, right here, there's one missing. But it is a sterling silver chain. These are real pearls. And these are also some sort of quartz glass check tumbled stones. So that is where I'm at with this beauty. And I have a couple sets of earrings that could go with it. But hey, so it's like a few days later. And uh, I have a new stand for my phone. And I also have a new little ring light that I love so much. And um, I have some more jewelry that we need to sort through. Um, so I wanted to just come chill and keep working on this video. <laughs> so I'm here. We're here. Um... I have a jar and a few other things, so story time, Dust. I had a Poshmark sale and the Poshmark item was a ring and I was like, where's the ring? <laughs> so when we had moved, we had packed up our camper van with everything and the rings two full trays of rings have been basically sitting in that trailer since we moved. Um, Dustin remembered putting it where he put it, thank God. I didn't want to have to cancel the sale. It's nothing worse to get in a sale and then you have to cancel it because you can't find it. Oh, I hate when that happens. I was just watching video actually from Angela Cali mom collects and that's something she had mentioned was having to cancel an order because you can't find the item and that sucks that's like super sucks it super sucks I'm sorry my oh my camera keeps wanting to turn so I'm trying to keep it so it's YouTube worthy so yeah, I was happy to find, so I got one tray back, <laughs> thank God, and I have another tray, but that tray is full of like little earrings, and then I also found my earring holder, which has some stuff on there, um, and we're just going to go through some, I have found a couple jars that I can't remember if I shared with you or not, brain fart. And then I have this other jar. Now, I realize that this is kind of, um, it's full of jewelry making supplies that I kind of want to look at and share with you guys also. 
I'm also creating jars. I'm just trying to... Sorry for my children screaming in the background. <laughs> I'm just trying to like, um, I don't know, stay busy, I guess. Keep up with the, the jewelry. I just listed this ring I found. Um, it's a stretcher, but look how stinking cute that is. I love it. I love it. I was thinking about going to list it. I don't know how much to list things like that for. With Poshmark and the fees is so, it's like almost waste of your time to even consider listing anything under $15 because what you end up to bringing home in the end, um, it's small change if anything under 20 bucks. So I think these are already up and listed. Yeah. I feel, uh, anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just sitting around going through some jewelry. My friend made these. Autumn. I should, sh I'll share her page because she makes some pretty nice stuff. I'll share her links in the description box. There you go. She made this ring. She made these earrings and another set that I have. Um, but I just love the way these guys like sit with the crystals and I have a ring also that she made. This is handmade by her. I'm not sure what that stone is in the middle. Possibly amethyst. No. I really love it. And then it's the way it's... I don't know how she did it, but it's sizable. Like you can... Yeah, it's, it's really well made. Beautiful. So these are just items that I keep. Um, these aren't for resale. These are mine. These are my personals. I love them. But I will share where you can get these um, on in below. The little boy likes to holler. So you guys, this necklace here is one that I made. Um, but you see how it's like folding together like that? I don't know. I must have used the wrong type of beading wire because for whatever reason it's not weighted and I hate how it coils um, it wants to coil I mean it could be doubled as a bracelet for someone with a bigger wrist but um, I'm really disappointed because I put a lot of work <laughs> I really like this design where you have this larger stone. You see how I just kind of did that with those beads and then the beautiful green ones in the middle. These are all, um, I think, Chinese crystals. And I just love them. But I don't know how to make it stretch or to keep it from coiling. So if you know how to do that, please let me know. And then I, I love these little ball, little disco balls. Those are so pretty. Those are just um, acrylic, I think. From moving, I have so many things out of place, like things, earrings got separated. Like, I know I have the earring to this one somewhere else. Can't find it right now. But I know I have it. Oh, I just found it, I think. Or this is the one. Never mind. Don't listen to me. These are beautiful. I love these. These are very heavy, though. And they're not easy to wear for a long period of time.
I don't really care for heavy earrings myself. Oh, here's a nice silver pair. So I think I might try and do, um, I want to get something ready because I'm planning an auction with um, Sharon. These are 925 stamped. And I think that says MEX. I forgot I had these beauties. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. I love looking through and seeing what. So I need a new plan for my inventory, basically, because every time I get a sale, um, I have to go digging and I don't know where anything is. And I want to try and building a new system where um, I don't have to do that. I've seen other YouTubers, um, they have a system where they have totes and numbers and then they put the tote number in their listing somewhere like kind of like a skew number I guess um so I really want to try that I only have one of these right now and I'm hoping I find the other one because they're cute um so I'm hoping to do something like that I just don't know how to go about starting it let's just look in these jars let's see what's in here you guys I forget where I even got this but this is a cute little jar. I like it. And it's definitely like just some busted beads by the looks of it. Ooh. JW. I got the Villagree. The Valgree. The Villagree. These are kind of nice. We can clean them up. JW. They got that green stuff happening down there. It's got to go. Where did I get this? It's definitely just for crafting, obviously. These are just some more beads. Actually, I can put those right into a bead lot. A new bead jar. And these are heavy. It's missing something here. Nice heavy faux pearl. Old vintage. Yeah, this is definitely for crafting. I'll put those back. Triad. The one earring wonder. The triad. What is that? I don't know what that is. Oops. Artisan crafted. Is that what that says? A R T Arts and Crafts. Oh, you know, so I was thinking about making some sort of, um, I just really want to do some more cra more crafting, I guess. And I was thinking about creating something with jewelry. Um, so I think I might start a collection for myself where I can, things, items that I want to put into it. Okay, what is this? So this was something at one point, I'm assuming. All the buddies are intact. Literally probably just needs um, some new wires. These are pretty. I don't know what they are. I guess I need gold gold tone earring hooks. I think I do have gold earring hooks, actually. I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. 
I do, I do, I do, I do. I got some editing hooks. So let's fix these bad boys up right now. I'm gonna sell them. <laughs> One, two. And that's another thing that I wanna do in the new year is actually like start making jewelry again because that's basically how I landed in the jewelry world um, was via uh, making jewelry making my own stuff <sighs> making my own So the trick is to go that way. Ta-da! What do you think of that? I can't get the light to go right. So these are really, um, they're really pretty. I really love them. And I just made them work. I'm so excited. like that ta-da yay I just fixed these guys how stinking cute I really like them too I don't know if I need another jump ring cuz not sure about that right I'll have to play with them some more, maybe, because I think I might need another jump ring to make them go the way I want them to go. I think. I don't know. We're going to figure it out, though. And then we have this little fashion half loop. They're nice. Those are very nice. Oh, and there's two of these. Okay. I paid six bucks for this thing. Where would this tag be? Maybe, um, I wonder if these are silver. They're cute. I think it might have been, um, Salvation Army, maybe? Some kind of thrift store like that, possibly. Where's the magnet? Where's the magnet? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, no, they, I think they might be silver. Ooh. I wonder if I should try and clean them up or leave them with that pattern on there. Patina. To patinas. These definitely need a good cleaning. Guys, I apologize. I have a kitten. <laughs> I was like, I am not. Uh... <laughs> yeah, my little kitty is a is a kitty kitty. Aren't ya? Come here. Say hi. Come here, little savage. Come here, little savage. I got a little kitty that sleeps all the time. And now she's going to put her butt in the camera. Hello. Can you give mom some love? <laughs> so this little bugger likes to play. She likes to play. And she likes to play hard. My fancy bracelet, you guys. I got this beautiful, amazing bracelet. 
from Secret Santa Hudson Vintage. And I am still like so happy with it. <laughs> I'm just so happy with it. You have no idea. All right. So there were some pieces in here now that I want to pair up. I don't know where to keep putting the jewelry. You know what I mean? Like where... Like I pick out what I'm selling and then where do you want me to put it? <laughs> you know, like, it's, ugh. I need a plan. I need a plan. So this beautiful bracelet, I found out that I also have the earrings to match this. But yeah, I have this other pair that does the same thing that I just love so I'm about to make those a listing I was thinking about putting them together oh no anyways back to this thing so look how pretty those are and I was thinking about making them I don't know what this is called <laughs> I don't know what it's called And then I gotta make this a listing today at some point. What do you guys feel about watches? Do you sell them well? I have another one of these, I think, too, that I have listed somewhere. Hello, what are you doing? What are you doing back there? Oh my god, you guys, did I really just find the other flower? I did. Did I? Yes, look, I found this one. Why are you not focused for me? Yes. Doesn't want to focus, does it? Stop that. Thank you. So there you go. There you go. There you go. We are going to get all these earrings packed together. I don't know what to do. I was thinking about like, doing some sort of earring sale. I just listed all of these rings basically on Poshmark. Pretty much every stinking one of them. Except this one. I just got this one in the mail. And it's stamped brass and it has a ring sizer. But my lady friend at the post office said she wanted to buy it. So I might just sell it to her and not list it. And then this is a... Why am I not auto-focusing right now? You know what I mean? I might have to stop. It's not focusing. Why? Exposure and focus are locked. How do I unlock this? I must fix this. This is becoming a hot mess. This is becoming a hot mess. Hot mess. Anyways, this is going to be, I think, put up listed together, which I should be doing. Instead of videoing, I should be picturing. But I need to get these earrings sorted. So you're with me on that one. This is a, another set that I really, really like. I don't think these are listed either, you know. I don't think very many of my earrings are listed. I have quite a few that aren't. Like I said, like it's hard to list $10 items on Poshmark. For me, it is. I'd rather... I usually create lots of so I can put a better... Like a... A valued price for the lot versus selling them individually for ten dollars like I don't want to do that um, don't get me wrong like the, the earrings that are valuable I don't do that these ones are my ultimate favorite earrings these are absolutely beautiful they have um, I think it's J Jasper and turquoise 
Okay, what is going on here, darling? Oh, don't you come off of there. I don't want you out of there. Hey. <laughs> Good thing I have more. So these are really pretty. That one's got like this polar bear. Um, oh, untangle it, drop it, tangles it again. This one I think is highlight. Isn't that nice? Nice. It's beautiful. So yeah, that's my my method of thinking. Like I don't want to put things up. Um, Poshmark for ten bucks. I really don't. It's not worth it. Because the way their fees are set up is just annoying. Which is kind of why I do like the way eBay's fees are set up. But then I find you got to know what you're selling on each platform and what. Again, the lot is what people are looking for on eBay, I think. Not just the single $10 pair of earrings. Yeah, get where I'm going. These are pretty. These are Avon earrings. You know, and I don't really sell on here very often. Ever. <laughs> um, but anything in my videos like if anybody sees it and they want some, something then you, you know just leave a comment because <laughs> I'll, I'll hook you up and then you'll get um, I love these I love these so much I'm so happy right now that these are these are super cool I love those. Love them. Love them. Love them very much. Yes. Okay, so this is a necklace lot that I have listed already. And it goes with this one. And then I have this one that goes with it. And there's one more. They all still have the tags on them. I don't know what the name brand of them are. There's one more that goes with this set. This is like, this reminds me of um, Fred Flintstone. <laughs> the Flintstones. So yeah, I've really been uh, reassessing my jewelry lots that I have listed and kind of figuring out. Because it's weird, you know, the things, I've sold something that I had listed over a year ago. Uh, just recently. So, you know, you think that, you know, sometimes things have to sit. They will sit. And then out of nowhere, they'll sell. <laughs> I did a sale on Facebook last year with my friend Stephanie. And this is what these are. Some of the items that uh, ended up not selling. But this is all fashion jewelry, you know, like none of this is any high-end jewelry by no means at all. No means at all. And then this was my other tray that was with, <laughs> these are all my little dainty earrings that I put in here in this ring tray. This is that a cute little set? I should probably list, get some pictures taken. But yeah, so yeah, I sometimes I find like it's just not worth the time to even do sometimes. But the sun is about to shine in really nicely in my window through the ice. And I think it's going to be a good time to try and get some pictures. I'm going to be listing these two, I think, as a set. Um, I'm not sure... How old they are but they're going in as a set and then these are I've been debating on whether or not I want to put these up your clip on Sarah Coventry's I don't know I'm, I'm still debating on this one 
Then I have this beauty that I'm going to be listing as well. So yeah, I got lots to do. And I don't know what to do with this one. I like this necklace. It reminds me of a Banana Republic one that I had that sold. So I don't know. Maybe I will put it up. I shall see. I'm going to be listing these guys. Genuine Amber. They're definitely not gold. Uh, but no, definitely not gold. Oh, we should test the stones. Who's to say that the stones aren't, um, the diamonds aren't diamonds? Why did I take that out of there? Of course. I don't think it goes in any further than that. Okay. I'll fix that in a minute. Let's turn this bad boy on. Oh. Now, what else was I doing? I have more, but where, where is the more? So rings and earrings now are what is up to order today. Okay, so this is showing ready. I think we gotta does you I'm not sure how to work this you guys like this is really Like it's really new to me. I got I gotta look up the I'm not sure how, like, if I got it on the right setting or not, because it wants to move. Only goes up to a three. I don't have any diamonds on. I'm not wearing diamonds. Oh, it is a diamond right here. So let's see what it does with the real diamond so I can know what it actually is doing. It goes all the way up to B. That's why we know it's a real diamond. Nothing and then Okay, okay now I understand. Okay, so that means no Oh wait, what? <laughs> I don't know it's it's giving me weird readings It's testing on the gold. I cursed by accident. I had to, I had to edit the video. <laughs> I want to test something else now. You guys get me going. I wonder if these stones are real. Huh. Here's another Avon ring. Blah. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Nothing. No, it's not real. It isn't real diamonds, darling. No. B 
No. No. <laughs> I was like, what? Jackpot. I don't think I have anything else that... Oh, I wanted to test this music note. Nope. It is not a diamond, darling. Now i got to figure out how to get this flipping stinking thing. I don't know what I did. Man, I'm not the smartest apple in the tree, am I? Oh, because you're putting it in the wrong box, Brandy. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, anyways, these are going to be listed here pretty soon, too. <laughs> We're going to leave this one over here on standby. See if we can find something else here in a minute. I'm not sure what this ring is made out of. A shell is what it's made out of. Now that I look. It's a seashell ring. Huh. Let's have a look at some of my other rings that I just got recently. Let's see what's all up. See what's in here. A little bit of light. These are actually diamonds. Okay. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. I was wondering about this ring being possibly real gold. But I think it's vermeil because it is a nice quality. But then I have the one stone missing. Breaks my heart. It is breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. It won't focus. My Nope. Nope. All right. This one here is real diamonds. <sighs> it won't test for me now. <sighs> it is real. I know it's real. I know it's real. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, that was fun. The, the, this is a really random video. Like, the video of random. This is what this bad boy is. So, man. Huh? All right, guys. So, I had a bobble necklace that I want to... Where did I put it? I don't know where I put it. Anyways, that one necklace that I showed on... I don't know if it's in this video that we're in right now. <laughs> because I'm filming a different day. But there was a sterling silver bobble necklace. So I have earrings that go... I have three pair that can match that necklace. And these are all sterling. This is real pearl. So these are going to be newly listed pretty soon. And then I have these beautiful adventuring ones. Um, those can also be put in with that lot, I guess. 
These are items that I got this summer through, I think, Kijiji. I'm pretty sure I got all these from Kijiji. I was quite happy. Um, and I wasn't really in a rush to list them. Like, look how stunning those little guys are. So the back is, it is actual see-through. And I love them. It's almost like a little peacock or something. Maybe a flower. What am I saying? It's a flower. And then I got these really nice ones also. They have like the gold galaxy and LCI. So I think they're Liz Claiborne. Like so many earrings. So many earrings I had. Now these ones are stunning. Love those. Those will be... Yeah, I need to start taking some pictures, y'all. <laughs> there was a lot of pretty earrings in this lot. You got this guy. There's two of them. These are... I don't know when they're from. Like, I have no idea when... Like, I can't even date them. Oh, I just got the brooch, I think, to this one. I did too. Sarah Coventry brooch. These earrings are very heavy. This one's heavy. You want to see something? I just got the same brooch, I think. Oh no! You don't go there. What's going on? Uh oh, technical difficulty. Huh, where is that? What is it? <gasps> oh. Right here. I just made a mess. Oh no, they're similar though. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. And then I also have this set right here that I'm going to be listing. These are sterling also. And... I don't know what's inside. Just some beautiful little pink crystals inside of there. You can open it up probably. I think that's the whole system. If you take the chain off, you can open it up and change out the little crystal beads that are in there. I'm thinking that's what it is. And I'm pretty sure this is 925. But it may be plated. No, it's probably 925. But yeah, I, I thought these were cool. Anyways, I have so much still to do that it's not even funny. <laughs> like, these are beautiful. I love these stones. This is my favorite stashed over here. I don't know why they're in here, but... I don't know, I don't know. I got this beautiful tree... An enamel earring. There's lots. There is lots. And then we have this one. Oh god, you guys. <laughs> These are really cool. Oh, don't break them. They are not signed anywhere. But they're just little bouquet of flowers that go on your ears. There was a lot of fun pieces in this lot, I remember. Here's another really nice one. I might hang some of these up now. Get them out of this container. Look at that. I love it. And then there's this little envelope. envelope. Elephant. <laughs> A little elephant. So many pretties, you guys. So many pretties. Anyways. I'm, uh, I'm going to switch gears here now. And do uh, my cash envelope stuffing for... The second week of the 52. So this will be my yeah my second week. So let's do that and sign off. We just stuffed our 52 week challenge. I Dustin put 10. And then we had to swap out the change. I did the 5. So we are on track you guys. I'm super excited for this.